Okay, today's uh, movement is pretty cool. Basically, you just gotta put your arms up like out like this. Doesn't matter where you start off. We're gonna end up in a better position. Down, side. Let's just do it a bit kind of front facing like that. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna see how our shoulders gonna activate, right? So we're using all our shoulder muscles here and our trapezius and probably our probably our chest as well. I would just guess, um, just a little bit, you know, upper maybe, maybe maybe not even much at all. But you know, the whole whole thing gets used. But mostly it's like this uh, um, side deltoid, lateral deltoid, you know, the thing you do your lateral raises with. So we got that, and then behind that. There's the posterior deltoid, which is used for when you want to hold it back here. And we'll go into that soon. And the anterior deltoid is more for this. So it's like anterior, you know, lateral, posterior, you know, with overlap. Of course, there's overlap. Um, this is inspired by an exercise I got from Egwin, which is, I think, a Qigong one where you're kind of like that. Don't do this. I did that when I went on a retreat with him to... Croatia did that for like 20 something minutes or something and I actually did it, did it again yesterday not yesterday maybe two days ago and I was thinking you know it'd be good over the side let's just uh, lift it up a little bit yeah hopefully I don't get sunburn I put some on my you know trapezius area or that so but like not the like tri tricep area and bicep. So, you know, that's another thing, like your biceps are going too, right? Because if, if they, well, maybe we can just not use the biceps. Let's just let it hang, actually. All right, just let it kind of go, go straight, straight out. You can look out to see what's going on, that's fine. Put your thumbs, put your thumbs up. Yeah, activate your fingers a bit. Yeah. Go like this, just hold them in that position. Soft, like Tai Chi hands. Point your thumbs up just a little bit, just to activate that area, to start to, you know, tell the muscular system that, to reconfigure in a way that actually involves the hands. Like if we just do it like this, we're gonna, this is a hold that doesn't involve the hands, but this is a hold that does involve the hands. So let's do that. Oh, you know what? This is already getting a bit, ooh. <laughs> But that's good. So here's what's gonna happen, right? It's gonna get sore and tired and you're gonna feel like you need to stop. But trust me, you don't need to stop. You do not need to stop. Because we never do movements that require us to activate our muscles for a long time. We just quickly do this one thing, like pick up the coffee jug, put it back down stuff like that open a packet of ketchup finish but we never do something that's just like whoa you know carry this sack of wheat you know 10 miles to the next village um or in our case carry a 24 pack of vb across town don't drink vb it's disgusting well it's got its charm you know it's very bitter <laughs> But I like to drink uh, two years old because I like black beers. But my favorite beer is Guinness. Two years old is just like, oh, I'll drink it. But I also like James Squire, Amber Ale, Golden Ale. But I don't really like the other one, like Pale Lashes or whatever it's called. I like a good, strong flavor beer. I don't like those crisp beers, like summertime. <laughs> Summertime refreshing beer. Are you a hipster millennial? Why don't you drink something that feels like you're not drinking beer at all? Summertime from Tui's. So it's hurting. Let's bring it a bit behind. So, as I was saying, your muscles will get tired, but that's okay because. Just when you think they're gonna like give up or something like that, another part, like a deeper layer or something, 
will start to chip in and the way you're holding it will become more efficient and you might actually be surprised that at some point soon you'll feel like you just started literally you'll feel like you just started doing this exercise and you're completely full of energy because the fibers that you you know when you started doing this exercise today you use the same fibers that you use to pick up the coffee jug or open the packet of ketchup or just like you know open the high cupboard <laughs> you know just those ones that are just for, okay we'll quickly need to do something but your body's gonna go oh they want to use the the deep postural muscles for holding positions okay Whew, this is hurting big time so it might actually start to shake like I'll probably start to shake maybe maybe not oh it's so sore but shaking is totally fine it's just like I don't know what the reason is for it, it doesn't really make much logical sense it's just like you can look at it like the shaking is something that happens when you go from using your body in a shit way to using it in a good way <laughs> and it's just a fact of what happens yeah it's pretty sore Whew. Mm. So, this exercise, it will kind of make you immediately stronger, but like more efficient, you know, but it will also give you more conscious awareness to your muscles and it will improve your mind-muscle connection. And when you go and do any sort of movement, even just something as simple as a lateral raise, you know, lateral dumbbell raise, your muscle will work more efficiently and better and you will activate more of it and your muscles will grow better. That's not science, that's my opinion. But you know, science is so lame. Everyone, everyone thinks that like science is like the God. It's like science says, like, whoa, scientific breakthrough. But no one really realizes that these scientific breakthroughs are just like so many science, scientific things are like some dork who is not necessarily a rational or practical thinker organizes a trial with, you know, 10 participants or something like that. And they're like, why don't we try which thing is better at causing muscular growth out of my shit idea number one, my shit idea number two, and my shit idea number three. And then it's like, whoa, shit idea number three is the best one. Let's publish a paper and tell people how, how great this is. You won't find a paper out there that's like, thousand people held their arms up like this and reported yeah you know, it's just like it's people don't think in that way about the body they're just like which extra which textbook exercise is the one that is the best like which one is it is the is it the one where you turn your arms like this to lift the dumbbells or is it like this or is it better like this or is it better if you hold it back back like this is it better if you lean forward like what none of that shit matters at all it doesn't matter at all like, you're just meant to do all of them, all the time. I really hope, are you kidding? I hope that's not too annoying. Someone's doing some construction. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. We'll just, just deal with it. I hate that sound. It's like it chases, it chases me around the world. I've been to probably between 40 and 45 countries. I'm not sure exactly how many. Maybe 45. And... It's like wherever I stay, some jerkwad is going. They just can't help themselves. They have to do it. I reckon, this is just what I reckon. I reckon there should be a time of the year where you're allowed to do construction. Because construction ruins everybody else's time. Like one guy going. Like I'm annoyed. Everyone else is annoyed inconveniencing me and it's inconveniencing everyone who wants to hear it and that's construction like imagine in a city like one it's like when you get this big apartment building and one person does that drilling into the building the whole building hears it for the sake of one person so there should just be two weeks a year where it's like okay do your construction and you can go at it as hard as you bloody want but outside of that Let's get, get some peace and quiet. Not everyone will agree with that opinion. That's just fine. Ooh, it's killing. It's just fucking 
killing. Oh. So painful, right? Must be feeling it so much. Oh. oh, I just got my first slight reconfiguration. Like it relaxed down a bit. Yeah, like it wants to relax down more. It wants to go, like it's up like this and it wants to go. Uh, like, that's a big part of this. Like, our body only knows, knows how to do things that are require like a high level of tension so any any sort of movement we do we do it with too much tension everything you do probably if you're not like an excellent mover you just do with too much tension and that's like um the body just doesn't know slash has forgotten the way to do it like really efficiently with minimal tension this is like Edwin's ideas pretty much this course the uh, fundamentals of movement consciousness is in the description it's fantastic check it out Oh, God. It's so uncomfortable. I'm waiting on that first real release, like refreshing release. But it's just like, it's just eluding me. And that's okay. Like, we don't have to get, like, you don't have to get what you want to get out of the movement. You're like, oh yeah, I'll do this movement and I'll get this particular thing out of it that I'm hoping for. Not necessarily. You don't know what you'll get out of it. Oh. You can try this if you want. Oh. A bit of shaking. I'm probably gonna start making some Make Australia Great Again videos. Cause I saw like Clive Palmer talking on the on YouTube. He put up ads. And I'm like, who's this guy? <laughs> oh wait, it's that Clive Palmer guy, isn't it? And I listen to him. And he's on point. He knows what's up. The main thing is like we don't need some core ideology to become the ideology that that's not really necessary like we have Australian culture as the ideology it exists fine as it is really it's pretty good right? with the, the much higher leverage thing we can do is um just get rid of the current government because they suck right it's like liberal and labor and they're pretty similar. They're not that really different. Like, it's not like one is extreme left and one is extreme right. They're both kind of centerish. But, you know, both kind of centerish these days means, you know, left leaning, in my opinion. So, we don't actually have to, like, have some revolution or anything like that. We just, like, need to get uh, candidates, independent candidates, and candidates for other established parties that aren't just political hacks, right? Just a bunch of people who studied law and politics at university and don't know how to do anything practical. They probably couldn't screw in a light bulb to save their life. We got those people running our country and they're absolute idiots. Pol politicians? You ever know a politician who you thought was like, oh, really smart guy? Oh, just so smart. Like I was listening to the radio today, not because I sit there listening to the radio, I was in the car. And this ad comes on and it goes, Hi, this is Jane Smith for the Liberal Party New South Wales. And I've always believed that business is good for a strong economy. And a strong economy means healthcare, education, and, and a better life for everyone. So vote Liberal Australia. Let's do it. It's something like, what? What do you mean by that? What are your... What are your qualifications? Like, what, what, what do you know? Like, do you know economic theory? Or anything like that? Do you know... Do you know how to negotiate deals? Do, do you know how to... Implement 
policies that have like a high leverage effect on society and Australian culture and make individuals happier and more productive. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't know anything. And Australian tax dollars, one way or another, paid for that ad. So Australian tax dollars are paying for this idiot to get elected. <laughs> Right, and we just keep voting them in because we're like, are you gonna vote Labour or Liberal? Which one of Labour and Liberal are you going to vote for? It's like, I think I am going to vote for Labour because I like Labour and I don't like Liberal. Okay. It's time for change. And it's so easy. It's not gonna be difficult for Australia because Australia's got a pretty, you know, solid culture already. Solid set of values. And we can easily just uh, vote people in in our electorates because the way it works is voting a you know getting a leader or a party in charge is that there must be like I don't know is there a few hundred I don't know 600 200 I don't really don't know hundreds there's hundreds of federal electorates throughout the country and the party with the most leaders in power of each of the electorates so you got 150, I don't know, just you got 70% of those electorates are, you know, governed by one particular party or a coalition of parties, then that's the government. <laughs> so we just all over the country, just get um, people who are really good, you know, a lot of skill and are really good at what they do and have excellent plans and aren't just stupid politicians. We just get people like that into federal electorates and then we can just form a coalition of independents and other smaller parties and we just, we'll just not have Labour and Liberal anymore because those guys are idiots. It really doesn't even matter if like, I don't care if um, some of the seats are, um, you know, radical progressives. I, I honestly don't care. It's like, go in, get your voice out there, whatever, say what you want to say. But the point is, like, the only reason I say that I'm okay with that is not because I agree with it. It's just that... Whew. It's just that it doesn't matter one way or another because that's a weak ideology and it's not going to win against, you know, solid, you know, policies that are just really good for people's lives and giving people more opportunity and, you know, more money in their paycheck and lowering the prices you know it's like that's just going to be like collateral unfortunate stuff if those if those people get you know local offices or whatever but like at least they're getting they're helping getting labor and liberal out because those guys are just idiots they make deals that cost us billions and millions of billions and billions of dollars every year just money down the toilet money down the toilet and a billion dollars is a lot of money in Australia yeah I've got a population of about 25 million so if they waste a billion dollars we'll divide a billion by 25 million and that's how many dollars it'll cost each person Oof. so we'll probably stop it there I really didn't get exactly what I wanted out of this exercise but But that's okay. Just trained them a bit. So maybe, maybe you felt some changes. It's not all about me, you know. It's not about Matt gets body changes. Well, it is. I care more about that. But, you know, it's there for you to get changes as well. We can still just do a little bit. All right, just let it I'm almost getting some changes, you know. You gotta relax it down. Like, ugh. And then you gotta kind of lever it back up instead of there. You gotta. Oh, no, I'm actually starting to get it. Uh... Just go a bit longer. Just go like a bit longer. Whew. That's rough.
know, you might experience these changes later. Stop it there. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.